don't believe it. <laughs> I've just put all my stuff away. Everything's packed up. Welcome to another solo midweek bonanza. So yeah, Stu is um, on holiday this week. Um, last time we was out was that river session on the Trent. That was amazing. I loved it. Um, absolutely loved it. We're already planning the next one in a, in a um, five, five week or something like that. I'm going to try and get out next month. Leaving it this month because Stu's away for a week. He's back. and we'll probably do a midweek bonanza. And then he's um, away again for another week. So after that, when that's calmed down, which will probably be next month, we're going to try and get back to the trends for the same thing, Thursday to a Saturday, as long as the missus lets us. So yeah, but, um, so I'm down here on my own today. Feels a bit weird, to be honest, fishing on my own again. Not fished on my own for ages. So uh, yeah, I've come back to, wasn't sure where to go, um, but I've come back to Top Pool. Only because of blank last time, I want to try and catch a carp out of it, and I'm not bothered if I get a carp, but I'm, I'm at really after the carp. Um, yeah, so I'll show you where I'm fishing now, which swim. So I'm, I've opted for the last swim on the left. There's two, as you come through the gate, there's the first two swims are occupied. Um, so I've come. Come on this swim. Not fished on this swim for don't think I've ever fished on this swim, to be honest. So I've got a bit of water. If no one comes next to me, which there's no one booked on at the moment, I don't think. Um I've got all that channel to me right. At the moment I've got one fishing just in the centre of the screen there, about two foot two footish off that bush. Um and the other one is towards the end of that um, bush. So that's where they are at the moment. And to be honest, I've been looking. I probably won't be out picking up, but there's some bubbling at the end of that tree where, where my bag is. Um, so that's, that's fizzing up. That just started about five minutes ago. So I'm quite happy. Nothing, nothing on the right rod. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of fizzing going on. So I'm hoping that's not just the pellet melting or whatever, or little roach or something, but looks like something's feeding, to be honest. Yeah, I can see bubbles coming up. So I'm hoping for that left rod to go, but, oh Jesus, literally a load of bubbles just come up then. I can't get it because it's, it's in the, um, the the light part of the water, but a big plume of bubbles just come up then as I was talking. Come on, rod, rip off rip off I'm on the solid bags anyway so there we are that's what I'm on I've um, it's what's left in my river stuff I thought do you know what I never do that well on me um, my manila I usually use manila pellets and stuff um, started using that last year and doing all right on it I thought I'm gonna have a change I've got loads of um well not loads we've got a bit of barbel stuff left what I was using on the Trent I thought do you know what I'm gonna try it for the carp because it can't do any harm, plus the cats will probably eat it anyway. But uh, yeah, I've got a load of different pellets, mixture of pellets there, different sizes. Um, a few different ones in there, that's what I was using. I've got some 8mm mainline things, well I can't remember what they're called. Money towards catching me barbel, big river barbel that says if it didn't focus. And then I've got some other bits, I've got some paste which I've not used, and I've got some one of them ones, cheesy, 14 mil cheesy garlic, um, some amino ground bait, I might put a bit of ground bait in after, I'm going to try something different, got that spot still fizzing up, and then I've got some big river barbel, um, or, um, what do you call it, ground bait, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to fish this tonight, I'm going to see what happens. Um, try some barbel. I don't know what the difference is, probably nothing. Um, probably just a bit more oiling or something, I don't know, to carry the scent down the river. But I'm going to try it and um, 
sack me normal manila off and fish that i've just got two of them them little eight milli things on in my solid bag at the moment but i might put a one of them cheesy pellets on after so that's all i'm doing i'm just i'm not sure what to do yet i'm just i don't want to put too, in, too much bait in. i'm just got a little solid bag on at the moment until because i don't want to put a load of bait and then fish start showing somewhere somewhere else so at the moment that's all i've done i've just chucked a little solid bag out set my bivvy up um, i'm just gonna leave it for an hour or so and i'll see if anything happens or fish bosh out anything any signs because it seems pretty dead oh it's bubbling up again though my word i wish i could i wish i could pick that up it's i can't get it in the shadow so you can see the bubbles but that corner's proper having little plumes of bubbles coming up so please need i need a decent session on here i've, I've only like caught one carp at a time that's that's what most of had out in the session this year is just one carp and a blank last time so i need a fish and plus then Stu can't take the mick out of me when he comes home. Right, so that's where we're fishing. The house is all set up. Um, I'm just gonna um, thingy now. Knock a brew up, I'm parched. And then have a chill for a, an hour, see if anything happens. Nothing happens, rebate. And then tonight I've got some bigger solid bags. I'm gonna put a bigger bag on tonight. I've only got the small ones, smallish ones on. Still still fizzing up. Come on. Come on, left rod, come on. Right, brew time. And then we'll have a catch up later. See if anything happens. Well that's a nice brew. Um beanies choco coconut coffee from Aldi. Alright, these flavoured coffees I like them. Keep getting trying the different ones they're all pretty nice yeah but that left spot has only it's only been 15 minutes since the last um update but that left hand rod is still is still going now still fizzing yeah i've not had a a bleep I've not had a bleep on my rods can't believe it and then two minutes ago just before I turn this on um it's about six foot past my right rod against the island there was a big swirl something's there and it wasn't a duck so i'm getting a bit excited now i, I not, wasn't that bothered about coming and when you're like oh, yeah i'll go fishing but i'm not that bothered uh, getting a bit excited now especially with that that left hand rod fizzing up it can't be it can't be gas that it's too much coincidence it's about two foot from where i cast and I've only got a solid bag on and, and I think I put, put five boilies, I just flicked five boilies around it, threw them in, um, spreading them out. So it can't be a coincidence that all them bubbles are coming up. I know it happened to Stu the other week, but then he ended up, it took him a while, but he got it in the end, so. Because his spot was fizzing up on the opposite bank, last, um, the second to last time he come, uh, and he did catch one. But yeah, it's proper, it's got it got to go me rod or something's wrong or well, they just they just don't like the the hook bait well fingers crossed fingers crossed the key i can't stop watching it fingers crossed it's gonna go before bed if not i'm gonna give it at least an hour and then we'll have a little if the fizzing stops we we'll have a reach up then and um fill the bag up again to see see what's going on right finish this brew and then we'll have an early tea tonight as well I want to be um, chilled tonight because I'm on my own. I'm going to retire early. Be nice to have a fish though before we go to bed. We really would, especially after blanking last time I was here. That water I'm going on Friday is in the lim water. It's pretty hard. There's some nice fish in here up to a scrape of 30s. Um, it's deep though, it's like proper deep. It's like 30 foot in the middle. It's not that big. Whoa, big bow wave. Oh, I was going to spin camera around them. Another bow wave right off the island. So there's something hanging around both both sets of hook bait. So fingers crossed, eh? Right. I think I finished this brew. I'm going to consider having my tea, and then I'm all ready for the night and chilled out. Um, I'm going to try and get me head down a bit early tonight. I was up, been up at half five last couple of mornings, gymming, so I'll probably be tired later. Right, catch up with you in a bit.
just coming up to nine o'clock now um, all the well, say activity all the feeding bubbling stopped just looking at it now absolutely dead um, don't know what's going on don't know why I didn't get a run I don't know what's going on didn't even get a line or so I'm not 100% convinced it was fish now because I thought I would have had a liner at least it was like they were like bubbling like a foot two foot off my spot but yeah nothing's coming up now so yeah it's just gone nine o'clock tell you what last 15 minutes the temperature has well dropped I can't believe this is summer it's freezing not freezing but it's cold it doesn't feel like summer now I've got a t-shirt on I'm gonna have to put me a um, little jumper thing on that's how cold it is I can't, I can't believe how cold it is beginning of August but anyway uh, I'm gonna have a re-chuck now for the night um, put my solid bag on I'm gonna chuck a few boilies or pellet in as well around it just to give it a bit more a um, bit more food around it because I always think with solid bags I never know how quite long I'll to leave them and how long the pellet, the pellet lasts, lasts in the bag so I'm always a bit weary so I might even crumb a few boilies up or something in it I don't know yeah um, I might have another reach up before I go to bed yeah but anyway I'm going to have a couple of casts get my rods in fingers crossed I need a fish on here tonight need a fish um, yeah so I'll catch up in a bit Gotta run. Whoa, what is it? One o'clock in the morning. It's about twenty past now or something like that. Twenty past one. And I bagged myself a fish. Bloody cracking fight as usual. It's not a carp, it's a cat. On my left hand rod. Um lovely lovely cat. Uh, I've just weighed it sixteen and that sixteen six it was. Um, so yeah, made up. What a fight! They're unbelievable, aren't they? As they always say, as they always say they are unbelievable. Whoop! Um, come on, Let's see if I can hold it. Here we are, Belter. Look at that. Whoop! Lovely. And still time for another. Oh, he's got me wire. And there's still, like I said, there's still time for another fish. It's only early ish. So we've got a few hours fishing, so it'd be nice if it goes again. I'm not really expecting. I never don't think I've ever caught this year. I think I've only ever had one fish out in a session on, on here on top hill, so I'm not. Come on. I was just trying to go backwards. Come here. Um, so I'm not expecting another one, but it would be nice. But yeah. But yeah. There we are, behaving now. Look at that. Big, big lump. There's ones, what was it, 16? Probably nearly three times the size in here. So I wouldn't mind one of them. There's 40s in here, so yeah. Two and a half, three times the size. Anyway, still made up with it. Right, I've redone my bags. That was on solid bag. Uh, redone my bags, my bag, and um, chucked it in. And I'm going to get this back now and get back in bed and have a clean up. Right, fingers crossed for another. morning oh just the one fish last night um six o'clock in the morning now i'm just about to make a brew and start me pack up but yeah nothing to report apart from that one cat absolutely dead right rod didn't even beep don't know what's going on with that um 
Yeah, I'm going to make a coffee now, wake up, pack up and bugger it off to work. But yeah, a bit gutted. I was, I was hoping for another one, but never mind. As always, next time. About 20 minutes to go now and um, I've got to pack up. I'm almost packed up. I don't know if you can see. It's a bit dark in the picture. I'm almost packed up. I've just got to put my bivvy down and my rods. And that's it. So we've got about 20 minutes fishing now. Um, looks like this is it. I literally just picked up uh, a camera to do this. And my right rod just um, had a, either, either been done or I'd have had a lot big liner on my right rod. So I'm not sure. I might have been done. Don't know. I literally, I literally just picked up, picked this up, and I chuck it on the bed. So yeah, I don't know what's happened there. That's the first beep I've had um, on that rod, and it's just. I mean, it, it has happened before. We've caught in the last 15 minutes of fishing here, but I'm not really expecting today. It's been too dead. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to finish packing up my gear, bring my rods in, and then I'm off. Um, as, as I think I said last night I'm going to another water non-limb water Friday uh, for 24 hours but I'm not sure if I can film if there's like a publicity ban or anything or what so I'll have to find out if I can film so if you, if you don't see me on that one I've either blanked or the owner said I can't film or both but anyway me and Stu will be here well, I'm not here, but me and Stu will be somewhere um, for next next week when he's back home for the midweek bonanza again. A bit better when there's two of you. You can film the fights and stuff. A bit hard on your own, especially in the dark. You can't really film much. So, anyway, right. I'm going to get packed up and um, we'll see you next time. Hopefully with Stu. Don't believe it. <laughs> I've just put all my stuff away. Everything's packed up. Uh, just putting my, left, my right hand rod away because the one I thought had been done on brought her in. Everything seemed okay. Just as putting my um, rod in the um, the bag, my left rod's tore off. I don't believe it. I know I've put my pod away. Everything. I just had it lying on the deck with my um, clutch set, and I've got a nice mirror. Don't believe it. Not a bad one as well. Mid double or something. It's a bit mad. So I'm just going to unpack my unhooking mat because I've just chucked everything on it because I'm done, ready for the off. Must must be five to seven or something now. Um, I might weigh it because my waist my waist stuff's are um, pretty handy. I'll see anyway. I'm going to unhook unhook it all. Um, unpack my unhooking mat now and then. I'll have a little look at it as quick as I can. <laughs> Don't believe this. Uh, a little bit bigger than I thought to be honest, a little bit it's quite chunky. Um, 17.4, biggest biggest one I've had out of here. And my first cat I've had out of here last night as well. I have to be quick here because gotta be off yeah everything's packed up now just apart from this the stuff that was took out of this cradle but absolutely mint oh it's nice getting a mirror I caught tons of commons last year and that uh, I think I prefer my mirrors to be honest oh come on in a nice world didn't fight that well to be honest I thought it was a little tiny thing at first till it got in the margins and then it um, kicked off a bit oh what a belter to finish on absolutely mint don't think there's a mark on it what I've seen a quick look I've had of it uh, yeah lovely fish That I lit, I picked, I picked up my right hand rod to bring in first out the two, and then I, I put put it back down on the pod, thinking I'll bring the one that I got, oops, the one that I got 
done on or had a little run up on, I'll bring that one in, it's probably moved the bait. Put that away and I just, just strapped it in me, um, I just strapped it down in me thingy bag and they are zzzzed like that because I've got my whole arms on there. And bloody saw it going. Couldn't believe it. Fate that. Especially when I was going to bring this one in first, but. What a pristine fish. And what a way to end the blog. See you next time.